Thanks for joining us for This Week in Odyssey, where subscribers to Odyssey, the print MIS for marketing ideas for printers, can discover what's new in Odyssey and learn about the best practices to use Odyssey to its fullest. Let's get started. All right. Well, Welcome to Mark and Diaz for Printers this week in Odyssey webinar. This is episode number 23. We are cruising along every other week with a different topic, which makes for after today, 23 packed episodes. And I believe I need to show my screen. There we go. We will be presenting these webinars every other Wednesday morning or afternoon, depending on where you're located. Um, please note the webinar time change, which today was the first day that this has changed. Um, this would be at 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 12 p.m. Central, and 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And this bi-weekly webinar focuses on release notes, any noteworthy bug fixes, a few tips and tricks here and there, um, pretty much anything and everything that you would like to know about Odyssey. Um, with today's episode, um, I'm going to dig, and I have a little bit deeper here, but I'm going to say it's probably a lot deeper um, into the marketing section of Odyssey. The last This Week in Odyssey webinar, um, which was two weeks ago on June 12th, I had a little sneak peek on what the marketing component looks like, and today I'm going to get more into that and show you what the marketing tool is able to do um, and really help you sell more printing and automate some of those uh, tasks that maybe you have mundane where you're setting up emails, whatever it is. We're going to show you how Odyssey can um, send those out on your behalf. Um, a couple things that I have continually brought up or talked about, but I want to make sure I go over it again because you never know if there's a new Odyssey user in here or somebody that has not seen these webinars before. Real quick in the upper right, there's this help menu. You can view Odyssey documentation. That will take you to a link of our Odyssey user guide. You can search for cheat key terms on the left in the search bar. You can select a main topic and the screen will take you to that main topic. You can also print off this PDF if you'd like in the upper right with the printer icon or you could download as a PDF. So um, help view Odyssey documentation um, will be your friend if you have questions. Um, just depending on there's a lot of good information in here. Um, the third drop-down, Odyssey release notes. That is basically our release notes. What's been happening in Odyssey? This is typically on an every other week basis, um, depending on the importance or what it is. We might sneak something in there, but this is typically every two weeks we will have this updated for you. And this goes all the way back to, might even be last year. Yep, all the way to early last year. So you want to feel free to read through this on what's been going on since uh, earlier versions of Odyssey. Um, have at it. And finally, our third tab under the help menu up here is open a support ticket. This will take you to your control center of your website where you can um, start a help support ticket, which will come to our customer care team. Um, and we'll get right back to you as soon as we can on whatever inquiry you have. Um, so that's the help menu. Um, the next section that I wanted to mention or the next update that we put out here a good three to four weeks ago, is what we call the universal nav bar, or maybe you want to call a navigation bar. In the upper left of your Odyssey, um, there's a, a grid looking icon. If you click on that, there's a drop down. You can visit your website's control center. You can go to your direct mail if you're subscribed to that, or social marketing. And similarly, um, when you're in your control center for um, your website, the nav bar or this navigation toolbar grid is also available here where if you click that you get the drop down you can go back to your odyssey um, if you have direct mail again or social marketing from your info center this will also take you there if i was to go to as an example my info center even though i'm an admin it'll look very similar to you as well and while you're in the info center um there's the universal nav bar again. I could go back to my Odyssey. I can go to the control center on my website. So this has proven to be very helpful for folks to navigate the different um, logins that they have with us. 
Um, and even if you don't have Odyssey and you're watching, this is still available to you to navigate between your control center and your info center. Um, so that's a really neat feature that what we've heard has been utilized and well received. So I want to make sure that I mention that as well. Um, before I dig into the details of marketing and kind of show you what we've been doing behind the scenes, um, Dave Holton is here to present some information to the audience. Um, so if you're listening, Dave, um, I appreciate uh, you joining us today. Yeah, glad to do that. And I promise I'll try to keep this as short as I can. And um, Trish, you can help me do that. You have the mute button. So if I get talking too much, just cut me off. <laughs> no, I don't usually but, have to do that. But yes, no problem. <laughs> But I wanted to pop in here a little bit today. This is actually a pretty big, um, a, a, a pretty big webinar today. Uh, and just uh, even as I was thinking about what we're going to say, Trish, do you still have the release notes tab up there? Can you go, if you do, can you go oh, back certainly. to that just for a moment? Mm -hmm. Yep, I close those out on habit. I was just thinking in, in the features, and uh, this is actually I did not read this one ahead of time, but if you look at that expanded marketing section and two quick lines that talk about marketing section, the marketing section received a number of improvements this release, including email analytics, a calendar view, and new list management tools like importing and tagging. That one and a half line, it's not even two lines, but that one and a half line is probably the most understated uh, sentence that you're <laughs> going to see in a long time. So you go back to your Odyssey screen now. But I am so excited for what Trish is going to show you here. And I wanted to hop in a little bit, uh, just kind of go big picture for a bit uh, for our, uh, well, really anybody. I know anyone can be watching this recording, but certainly this is a message for our existing Odyssey subscribers. And for you, our subscribers, uh, you likely remember uh, back towards the beginning of this year, we had our State of the Odyssey meeting. And um, from that big picture, marketing was one of the items that we wanted to address. And it took a few more turns to get here. Uh, but I wanted to make a big deal about that because uh, we had a few mid-course corrections we talked about. Marketing was one of those, and here it is. And so there's uh, there's a little bit more to the story, but from that big picture, um, um, we're excited to show the marketing parts today. So for your Odyssey subscribers, if you want kind of that bigger rest of the story, please give me a call. I'd be happy to share that. There's some uh, more excitement coming along with that too. Um, but that's for your ears only. Um, so I'll keep that off this public webinar. Um, so here's part of why I'm so excited about this. And it's really kind of a little bit of a corner we're turning with Odyssey. And you'll, you're going to see a bigger shift towards the marketing parts of Odyssey. And I just wanted to take a moment to remind everybody, what is the purpose of marketing? It's to generate leads for sales. That's about the simplest way I can say it. Why do we have marketing? To generate leads to, for sales. And so how do we do that in Odyssey or really anywhere is we want to direct those leads to the order forms. And that's what you're gonna to start to see from that big picture perspective. You're gonna see these tools start to get you set up to drive more leads to the order forms. Whether that's a print buyer out there in the internet finding a public order form online or whether that's someone coming in for a face-to-face -face conversation or a phone call and you're taking them to that order form on their behalf by using the inside of Odyssey. Because Odyssey's in the cloud, it's all the same. You know, Odyssey sees it as an order form, whether it's something that the print buyer uses or something that you and your team are using to draw people in to place that order. And that's where we're at with Odyssey right now. That's what Trish is going to show you here in just a minute. That's why I'm so excited about more of these marketing tools that are going to start to show up. And especially with the email part of that, but that's where I'm getting ahead of myself. That's where I need to stop talking. And Trish, that's where I will uh, mute myself and turn it back to you. Go ahead, wow them. <laughs> right, Dave, thank you so much. And yes, your comments are so true and very applicable. And I agree that that one sentence and a half or so is a bit, definitely an understatement, and there's a lot that I'm going to show you today. Um, and speaking of what I'm going to show you, I need to guard my time because I know I typically do this in 30 minutes, but I need to determine I have a lot of information I want to cover. If I feel it would be beneficial to split this into two webinars so that I don't rush it, um, that's something that I'll um, I'll just figure out as I go along. Um, 
So marketing, um, depending on where your icon is, and again, you can move these icons around if you would like, by when you get the crosshairs, we're gonna just drop and drag, you can move them around. But we got a little megaphone here, and we're gonna go to marketing. Um, so this is my Odyssey. Um, I've been playing around a lot lately with it. We've got a lot of campaigns down here. Um, I'm gonna start showing you um, the one that's called This Week in Odyssey Campaign. Um, the reason I'm going to start here is I have quite a bit that I have um, added recently and I want to show you how that's transpired, how that can look on your different social media and email. And then I'm going to get into um, related, um, which is our design edit promo kit we have going on. But let's start with the This Week in Odyssey campaign. Um, right off the bat here, I do have six actions that I have set up. That means um, out of the six, I have five that have went through, 83%. I have one left to do. Um, selecting the edit pencil icon will take you into your campaign. And here is what has been sent and what hasn't been sent. I have an email that was sent. I have a Facebook post, a tweet, a LinkedIn post, a blog post, and then a manual uh, uh, action that I need to do. So thankfully, all the ones that I wanted to send before this uh, webinar have sent so that I can show you. Um, but a biggie. Now, in Odyssey Marketing, if your campaign includes an email action, which this does with this envelope icon, you will have the ability to view analytics. And to do that, there's a little binoculars icon to the far right of any of your email actions. Um, it says there have been five emails that this has been sent to. And if we click the binoculars icon, um, you get a new window that pops up. Um, so what this can show you is the percentage of delivered emails, the percentage of bounced emails, how many of those in percentages and numbers have been opened. Um, then it tells you the last one that was open happened to be, and this is me today, at 12.49 p.m., so right before this webinar. Have any, has anyone unsubscribed as a result of this email? Have there been any what we consider call abuse reports? Thankfully, there have been none. Um, the name and the email of those that were delivered successfully show up under the emails delivered successfully section. So um, I have myself, which I'll be showing you a couple things. Um, actually, all these are legit emails that I use and um, these were delivered successfully. Um, going a little bit further down the analytics are the bounced emails. And I have two that were bounced. These are just um, example emails that I threw in um, based on my list of contacts, or I should say the contact list that I used. Um, going a little bit further, opens by email address. Um, so what have been opened, all right. Um, looks like this guy here opened it. With any of these, delivered successfully, bounced, or opens by email address, you can export to Excel. And I'm just gonna quick export this emails delivered successfully and show you um, what that looks like or how that's perceived. Let's bring this guy over here. And it doesn't matter if I need to edit it, but it gives me the name. I don't have a name for my last one, but that's just for me to figure out. Um, the email address and when it was delivered. So again, if you have probably hundreds, maybe thousands, um, you could go through, you can turn on filters, you can sort depending on maybe what you want to find, fine tune. So that is available to you again to export these three uh, different lists. Going okay, down. I want to hop in just for a second. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, because I, I'm just going back to what I was saying. If the whole goal is to drive, uh, turn leads into sales, the loaded question for all of the printers that are listening here is if you look at this section, let's say your list was a thousand prospects long and you had a goal to just a simple goal of making 15 sales calls a day, cold calls or warm calls or whatever. Um, if we're back on that list, if you can bring up that Odyssey screen there again. You know, if you had to pick 15 calls out of your whole list there, which ones are you going to be aiming for? It's going to be the open by email addresses. Now, Odyssey is going to tell you where are your warmest leads. It's the people that have opened that email that have received that message and actually opened it. And they are going to be the ones that are going to be most receptive for that call. One of those 15 calls you've committed to making this afternoon. So just wanted to kind of uh, hop back to that big picture there just for a moment to keep that in the front of everyone's mind. This is why Odyssey is different. It's bringing the marketing tools. It's helping to drive sales too. So thanks for letting me butt in there again, Trish. Back to you. 
Yep, thank you, Dave. And he is correct, and that's right. And um, I kind of went a little fast, but um, if you were to click on any of these names or lines under any of these, um, you get more information about the specific user that the email is sent to. Um, so if you've had any other information that was stored for their user, like phone number, and mobile number, that would show up. I just have basics here. Um, they are currently subscribed to four lists. Um, okay, which mailing list are they on? Um, right here, I have them on these different mailing lists, which are in my Odyssey, which if I have a chance, I will for sure show you. Um, here's the open rate out of 11 emails that I have received so far. I haven't opened any and clicked and that's okay. But again, this is giving you more granular, detailed information about the individual users that are receiving those emails. Um, you can tag your contacts as well. Um, I have about three or four emails that I know are legit, so I tag them as good email just so in case I want to make a marketing list, um, I want to make sure I'm just using those folks that are um, have the emails that are legit. Um, you can add as many tags as you want. If you want to remove it, you click the X. Here's recent activity for this contact. So today I received um, an email, an email, an email, an email. So I've done a lot of emails, um, email again. Um, that's mainly what I've been testing and sending out due to the analytics that we want to show you today. But this gives you an idea of activity um, that happens. It can be deliveries, it can be bounces. Um, there's a whole slew of information that you can select from and show um, the different activities for your contact. Um, so that's example with this one here. Um, if I go back down to this opens by email address and click on him, that also brings up um, similar. Uh, information again. I have a phone number and a mobile number affiliated, but tags. Here's that open rate. Um, any links that happen to be clicked in there. Um, the mailing list. So this is the mailing list that you create in Odyssey. They're on three of them. Here's all the different activity that has happened with this contact. Again, um, most of these has have been email, um, but quite a bit. It says it's been opened. You can click on the um, blue letters in here. It'll take you to that campaign of what this email is affiliated with. Um, so uh, that goes back to again March. So a lot of good information drilling down to the details about each of your contacts, whether it was delivered, um, if it was bounced, if it was opened. Um, so like Dave said, there's just a lot of good information. So I'll just take an example real quick of the bounced one. Um, let's see, bounce of 10 bounces and that's to be expected because um, that's not a legit email. So they've all bounced and it has a red exclamation point under the recent activity. Uh, meaning that it bounced and it says right here in bold. So again, if you're like, I know it's a legit email, maybe it's spelled wrong, you know, whatever the case is, but this gives you an idea of kind of take a look and see, um, you know, do I need to take them off my list or what the deal is? Um, so a lot of good information and I'm not done yet. Um, what I really should have mentioned again at the top, um, this is the name of the campaign that I gave it. Here's the subject of my email. And this is a good example that maybe you're trying to generate more sales or um, you want to get people coming to your website. And the subject of my email is 30% off your first order through July 10th. And I do have an example I'll show you of these. And this is from the one of my employees in my print shop when it was sent, and it was sent to five recipients. So um, could be, I guess, a real world example to get print buyers to place their first order if they're maybe have some hesitation on that. Going down a little bit further on this window, um, the number of opens by hour of the day. So right here, I have that one email that was opened by uh, my CMU name here, right around that 12 noon hour. So depending on how many folks open your email, this would, well, and hopefully that would creep up and up, but this gives you some more insight into the time of day that people might be checking their email or when they open them sent from you. So really good information here as far as a, a little graph. All right, so I'm going to X out of this part. And again, this is called This Week in Odyssey Campaign. This Week in Odyssey Campaign. Okay. So again, I mentioned I have uh, six tasks and five of them gone through. If I refresh, this one um, may have gone through, but I'm not going to be as concerned about that because that's a manual task. I sent an email, and that's where I was just in as the binoculars. So if you're curious, um, what that looks like. I did call up my personal email and 
here is how this per it was perceived when it came to me. So there's my subject, 30% off your first order through July 10th. And I didn't go through and make it fancy and add images in this case, but I wanted to get the point across that here's how I perceived this or sent this email. Are you new to tank printing? That's just the name I print shop. Well, take advantage of our summer special with your first order 30% off. Hurry, this offer ends July 10th. Um, so that's how I had set it up in Odyssey in the marketing. It went to three of my um, five contacts, and this is how this came through um, just in my perspective here. So this might be a way to think uh, ahead. Well, how do I generate more lead, more orders, or how can I get people to be first-time um, print buyers, whatever the case might be. Well, if you have them as a contact, they may not have a place to order, but this gives you a way um, to send out an email to have people take advantage of whatever it is you might be offering to them. So apparently I'm offering 30% off through July 10th. So that's a pretty good deal, I feel. Um, the next action that I set up is a Facebook post. Um, and I made these all pretty generic, mentioning about this week in Odyssey is happening today at noon. So Facebook, um, I have a company page branched off my personal page and it's just called tank printing um, here's an example of how that Facebook post was automatically placed for me um, on behalf of Odyssey it placed it in my um, company page and it simply says this week in Odyssey is today at noon central please join us um, so that's an example of sending out an automatic Facebook post um, the next thing that I set up to send is a tweet now, if I actually click on the binoculars for each of these, I should mention, um, it simply has uh, information as far as the scheduled date, the completed date, and what the message was. So it's not an email, so there's not as much information, but we at least give you ability to view more details to ensure that, okay, it's scheduled at this time, it was complete at this time, and we have that blue check mark. So I sent a tweet out on my personal Twitter, which I will delete soon. Um, here's an example of how that's perceived. Please join us for This Week in Odyssey, June 26th at noon central. So just something simple, but maybe you want to highlight, you know, maybe you have some sort of webinar at your print shop or whatever the case might be. Again, you can send out and have Odyssey send out a Twitter on your behalf. Um, going down the list, I had set up a LinkedIn post. All right, how does that look real quick? Um, this is my personal LinkedIn. Please join me for this week in Odyssey, June 26th at noon. I wanted to make sure, let's say this is your company page. You want to highlight that you have something big coming up or whatever it might be. Odyssey will, on your behalf, send out a LinkedIn post for you. It looks like I also have a blog post uh, that went out. Um, I thought I had that called up, but I'll quick call that up as well. Um, I have a test WordPress account, would you say? Uh, da, da, da. I was going to log in here. Let's see if that'll be. Here we go. Um, so this is uh, more or less my basic and simple uh, blog. Um, but this is kind of how this would look like on my blog. And actually, if I click on it, it'll probably show up on my home. There it is. This is what it looks like. This Week in Odyssey has a time change, New Central, every other Wednesday. Um, so that's my blog post. This one is a manual task. So if I was to edit this, um, you'll see I added a manual task action. Um, this is just telling my employee Tank Fargo to check my email for a receipt. Um, so whenever that's expected to, to show up in my alert bell, it would, it might even right now, but I'm not logged in as them. So I'm not gonna see the alert, but if I was logged in as them, um, then I should see that alert to check my mail. So that's the final uh, action with this marketing campaign or this week in Odyssey uh, marketing campaign here. Again, the big one, the big takeaway here today um, is the email analytics. And if I go back to all of my campaigns here, there we go. And I have sent other ones, as you can see. Um, here's a standalone email campaign. So we'll quick take a look at this one, just another example. I sent two emails that went out um, late last night, and both of them were sent to probably the same contact list of my five um, contacts. But if we view the binoculars on either one of these, um, again, great information on delivered, the bounced, uh, the opened. Here's a list of delivered successfully, what were bounced, and what were opened. And then here is an, another spike as far as um, 16 have opened these, it looks like, and then we kind of drop back down when it gets um, later on in the day. So 
looks like this would be an overall for emails sent, um, the spike in um, the times that are open by the hour of the day and so forth. So good. Another example of a little bit different of a graph, but a lot of information. Again, clicking on a name will get you into the details of a specific contact. Um, and speaking of contact, I wanted a quick mention about um, contact lists as we go along. I mentioned those five that I um, uh, kept using. Um, so that was the my mailing list. If I go in here, here are the five that I use here. And the top three I know are the ones that work. Um, going in a contact list, you can edit a contact list. Um, you can go ahead and you can create a new contact list. You can import a contact list or you can just go and build a custom list. And this is where you can go through. Do you want to add all your contacts? Maybe you want to add only those that are subscribed to your printer at work newsletter if you're if you're a part of that. Anybody that may have been recently registered and so forth. So this is how you can build your own contact list. Or if you wanted to simply go through and select the few that you would like. A um, lot of good information. They show up down here as soon as you add them to the list. So maybe you want to create your contest, contact list and then export it to Excel. You may do that as well. Um, based on a tag. So this is another newer part. Um, I mentioned I have my tag called good email that I know I have three contacts with legit emails. That's the only tag I have right now. But if I click generate list, there's the three right away that I don't have the tag um, good email and bam, they show up. So depending on the number of tags that you have, um, you can choose from that tag and then your list will be populated with those folks that are in that tag. Um, I'm going to cancel this. I'm not going to save it, but um, I just want to go over the contact list and how you can add them based on tags. And um, I remember, right, I think uh, in a contact, the ability to import, that's one of the new things there as well, correct? Yes. Yeah, I didn't get into that, but this is newer as well, where you can import um, a file. This would be an Excel. So if I go here and um, and I don't have one ready, but you can choose an Excel file and then import that. Or maybe you want to download the template to see the columns that are needed or that are available. You could also download that template. And I could quick do that as well. And just Yeah, no, that's, that, and that's yeah. a big thing. And I know we all, we've always had the contacts within Odyssey available, mm -hmm. but to get people into Odyssey, um, as in the from the lens of being a contact, this is a big a big huge step for our, our subscribers as well. Yep. So this one I could see being used quite a bit to um, import uh, a contact list as well. Um, so Dave is correct. When you click new contact list, you have the ability to choose from creating a custom one or importing a list like we were just seeing. So thank you for bringing that up. That is new and very important that I can see a lot of printers be using. Um, the accounts tab up here is just that, the different accounts that I have right now or um, that I'm signed into. And of course, I can always log out and turn those off. Um, and then another new feature to marketing is the calendar. Um, so I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a zoom out here. Um, right now, out of all my campaigns, I have 16 of 22 actions that have been completed. Um, do I have any manual actions? Okay, I can scroll down. Um, I do have one for sample design edit, and I should mention, you can filter by the day, by your work week, Monday through Friday. If you want to do all seven days of the week, um, you can also scroll, and this will take you week by week if you have week selected. If you have work week selected, here's the work week, previous, previous, previous. If you have the day selected, next day, next day, next day. If you have the month selected, next month, next month. So you can get very granular depending on what you want to see and how you want to see that. So I'm going to choose work week, the week that we're in. Today is, this is not the right month. We're going to go to June. We are on the 26th. All right. Today is Wednesday, June 26th. What do we have going on here for a manual task? Well, if you remember, I have one going out, but it hasn't gone out about check email. There's that manual task. If I was to deselect the manual, Everything shows up, which maybe is what you want to see. I have an email. Um, I have another uh, email. Then I have, okay, email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WordPress, then my manual task. Maybe you don't want to see all these like that. Uh, maybe you just want to see the email ones. If you select email, and if I was to scroll down, um, here we go. Oh, I think I know why it completed. Okay, so it's completed. If I had um, an email, 
task that wasn't completed, then it would show up. So I see. If I click completed, this is great. Everything that's been completed will now show up down below for um, this week. Now I only have these that I've done so far. These all show up that have been completed, sent out, and so forth. Hovering over them, it gives you um, a time frame, what the name of the campaign, um, bring your ideas to life, similar to Facebook. You know, what, what's the title? Gives you a little bit of information here. If you select that, it brings up that pop-up I showed you of the statistics that are dealing with that email campaign, for example. So even from the calendar, you can bring up your statistics for an email. If I click on the Facebook, you know, that's a little more basic, but again, it ensures that, okay, it does say it was complete at the time I told it and so forth. So even from your calendar view, you can view statistics depending on what action was set up. Um, here's my WordPress again. Okay, I said noon. It went out at noon. Awesome. If you want to view the campaign, from here you can view that campaign that that's set up on. But this I have used quite a bit. I have found this to be very helpful. Um, again, you can select them all, and then everything that is completed or not completed would show up. And again, there's that manual task that I haven't sent out yet, so that's um, yet to be sent. Um, but a lot of good information can be gleaned from the calendar view as well. Um, oh, here we go. That's what I wanted to make sure. I do have future postings or actions, as you can see, that have not been completed. If I deselect the completed tab and then I scroll down, I have an email, a Facebook, a Twitter, a LinkedIn that have not gone out yet. Um, this is the fork in the road where I needed to decide if I'm going to have to cut a short, and I'm going to, because I have so much that I want to show you still in marketing as it relates to our design edit promo campaign kit that we have recently um, sent out Monday and let you guys know about. So this could easily take another half hour um, in the next This Week in Odyssey webinar. Um, but again, with the calendar view, there is so much you can do to show what's been completed, what's coming up. Maybe you want to show everything, um, filtering by the work week, um, the month, the day, um, scrolling down through all hours of the day. There is just so much that can show up on here. Now here's the emails that I sent out, sent out from yesterday. Um, there's just a lot of good information in the calendar view where you can select that action and view those details. I think with that, um, without spending too much more time, because even though I really want to get to more, um, what I've showed you, especially with the email analytics, um, looking at the campaigns that I have set up and that I know have um, gone out thus far, there's a lot of email statistics that can be gleaned to help you as a print shop, see who's opened it, who do I need to call, where do I need to start generating those sales, and maybe I need to do a little bit more, but um, so much is finally available to the audience for, for you folks. So I would say thank you for uh, sticking around today. Um, I know there's a lot of good information that was digested. Please feel free to check this episode out once it's posted on our YouTube site and revisit this on or any previous episode at your leisure. Um, so with that, again, thank you for joining us during this edition of This Week in Odyssey. And please remember to stick around until the end for a quick survey as we appreciate your feedback. For those watching live, stick around for a two question survey. On behalf of the whole team at Marketing Ideas for Printers, thanks for joining us.